We're learning more about a deadly crash in Manistee County that took place Friday. Three people were killed, two more injured. Our Allie Baxter joins us live now from the Content Center with the very latest. Allie. Mark, not a lot is being shared about who was involved in this crash. State police haven't shared the ages of the driver or the passengers, but we know from multiple sources some involved were high school students. A tragedy struck last Friday. That tragedy, a single truck crash that three people didn't walk away from. A memorial now marks the spot on the Cleon Township Road where it happened late Friday night. Three of the occupants succumbed to their injuries. The other two occupants were transported to the hospital with serious injuries. Sergeant Ashley Miller with Michigan State Police says the crash happened after 11 p.m. A truck with five people inside was being driven down Reed Road when it went off the road and hit a tree. What caused the truck to leave the road still isn't known. Sergeant Miller says so far an investigation shows speed and alcohol could be factors in the crash. We don't exactly know what happened in this situation, um, but you know, if you can take anything away is, you know, life is really short. So make sure that you're taking accountability for your actions and other people too. You know, you see something, say something. Sergeant Miller says this tragedy impacted multiple families, communities, and first responders and asked to remember them as they navigate through a very difficult time. We don't like to see anything like this happen. And we just want everyone to know that our thoughts and prayers are you know, are with everyone that's involved and any commun community members that this affects. Benzie Central School shared a statement Monday afternoon saying they're mourning the loss of two students and that these students brought joy and laughter to many and that their absence will be profoundly felt. The school confirms there's counselors and social workers on site for support to students and staff. We also heard from Buckley Community Schools. The superintendent says a former student was involved in this crash. She says Buckley also provided counselors since many of their students are connected in some way to those in the crash. Sergeant Miller says if anyone has information that could help with the crash investigation, contact the Cadillac Post. In the Content Center, Allie Baxter, back to you.